Oh, I'll just go through this. This is so everything that I'm asking you is asked by someone from my VG. So this is okay. So this is all question. So I'll go with I'll start with PS4 because that obviously is yeah, the biggest yeah, yeah. talking talking point. So uh, there's no there's been no word about where it's launching. You know. So uh, do you know when PS4 is launching in India? No. Yeah. It, it's the same thing. Uh, like it's uh, matched against the European one. Uh, and uh, as we always put in, like give or take the Indian logistics of it, uh, because uh, Indian logistics has like when it needs to be shipped out, and currently all the consoles and all also require certain certification for India market and all. So all those things are in place. So in terms of targeting, it is targeted to synchronize with the European launch. Okay, so that's this year. Ah, uh, that's this year. Okay, so will so is there possibility like I think with the Vita there was a couple of months delay because no, of shortages. No, the Vita was uh, much better off. Okay, PS3. Uh, PS3 was a yeah. couple. The so PS3 is unfair to compare PS4 with the PS3 because we have come a long way. PS3 sure. was perhaps our flag bearer of entry into the India market. Uh, once the world happened and then they started looking at what are the next big markets where we want to go in. So PS3 was it? I, I think PS3 was launched in March. Internationally, it was earlier than that. Uh, in case of the PS4, it will have a timeline more aligned to what we did on the PS Vita. A PS Vita being a portable, like uh, and the logistics was easier for us to manage to do a day and date. We almost uh, we did the same date. 21st February was Europe date also. Right. Uh, on a PS. Four. Uh, once we know the European date and everything, we will work towards that. But uh, being a hardware, unlike a software, like it will have some gap definitely because of the logistics part. Sure. So how much are you saying? I mean, one month, two months, maximum, few weeks. Maximum. Maximum one month. Maximum one month, unless like at the certification level there is okay. an issue or. Uh, but without that, logistically, if it is okay. only internal logistics, okay. I don't see it going okay. beyond. So is India still being clubbed? I think we get the Russian SKU, Russian India, yeah, so it's yeah, the same, it's yeah. going to be the same. Okay. We don't know the formats and all yet. Uh, but if I go by like what is happening on the PS3, on PS3 we are still the Russian format. So if there is those format uh, definitions, okay. we'll have to live with that zone definition. Uh, at the press conference at E3, there was a, there was a, a UK price and a European price. So which will will India uh, look at? Europe. Europe. No, see, like uh, it's unfair to say like uh, because ours is also not a European price. Ours is not a yeah. <laughs> ours is ultimately an India price, keeping the reality of the the Indian tax structure. Yeah. So all those things will have to be built. Yeah. Uh, and we will make the declaration of the pricing at some point of time soon. Only thing is, uh, we had one plan, and then this effects rate has like really made us actually look at uh, like a, we are keeping an eye on the exchange rate as whether it is a transition, transient phenomena, or like it has a longer term impact and all. Once we are clear about that, we will make the declarations. With the PS3, what we saw with pricing was that you, there was a European price, you converted that, and a little bit more than that was the Indian price. It is the so same is thing that, that we same? saw. Right. Whether the ratios remain the same and all, uh, on a new model, you are a bit more constrained, on a slightly longer term model, you are a bit more like relaxed in terms of those conversion rates. Yeah. Uh, but definitely, like India will have a price that is competitive enough. Right. Okay, so as of yesterday, the European conversion of the European price was about 31,000 rupees. The, the, Euro, the Euro price for the PS4 compared to uh, uh, rupees, and right? So, assuming that that stays the same in November, December, how much of a premium over that would we, can we expect so in it's India? It's a bit too early because uh, like, uh, you have to look at a cost plus model, like, which sure. is what uh, we look at. Uh, but uh, Without committing anything, like the first indicators and all, makes it quite competitive against it. Okay. Means I don't see the ratio going too far beyond unless okay. we get stuck with the exchange rate that is sure. this. 
because the PS3 launched at 40,000, 39,990. So, okay. <laughs> so will the PS4 be lower than that? It has to be lower than that, right? It's a bit too early to comment because ideally it should be. Yeah. But you have to realize like, when we launched the 40,000, uh, like uh, it was way above like what was yeah. it internationally and we yeah. had a more competitive exchange rate. Right. Uh, so the PS3 approach was entirely different and the PS4 approach is quite different. Sure. Uh, we will like it to be as competitive as possible but uh, like today, sitting today like making a comment on well, putting a cap on the 39,990 and all those things is a bit difficult. Uh, okay. Ideally, we will keep it as competitive on the basis of like the conversions that yeah. you have talked about and yeah. like uh, where we can go from there rather than looking at it from 39,990. Yeah. So, uh, if there are multiple SKUs, game bundles in Europe, will those be available here as well? Logistically, it's possible being evaluated, but. Uh, being the initial phase, we will try to keep it as simple as possible and gradually build on it. Like PS3 is more mature, so you get a more number of SKUs and more number of varieties in India. Uh, on a PS4, uh, which will be at an initial phase and uh, like India gets into a slow burn always with this sort of classic category. So we will keep it simpler, we will always look at opportunity if there is a very compelling bundle that is there. Right. Other, or like even in a limited quantity we can bring it in to focus on certain category of shops and establishments. Uh, but it obviously will not from day one as broad based as PS3 is. Uh, by when do you think you'll be finalizing the price and by when will we see pre-orders for the PS4 beginning? See like uh, uh, different levels of pre-orders are happening on the basis of <laughs> like yeah. uh, keeping certain amount of money and uh, do, doing it. Uh, this is something that has caught us nicely by a surprise uh, which also brings in certain amount of urgency in like can we finalize and give up more clearer picture and a commitment of uh, delivery. Uh, I have a feeling it's still we need about a month or so before we are in a position to very clearly state. So before Gamescom, uh, do you think you'll be finalizing the sure. pricing? Okay. Uh, okay. So will you also be the manufacturing PS4 games here since it's Blu-ray and it's you already have my PS3 stuff. It happening. opens up a uh, uh, interesting opportunity but uh, obviously it has to be evaluated centrally as well as the DADC. As of now, like the focus is to get the initial launch timings for everything proper, uh, and while it's being discussed, uh, like I think it's too early to comment on. Right. Okay. As for the launch title, the launch games, will they all be available here? The ones that are available internationally. First party, definitely. Uh, even the third part is most of them are like already having relations. So okay. I think should. Okay. Uh, will will PS4 game prices be the same as PS3 game prices? Uh, is there a different model that goes into that? No, there. Uh, again, that is being evaluated. Uh, when the sure, because I think in the US they they are they are keeping the same price, which is yeah, sixty dollars. Uh, yeah, but uh, only thing uh, you have to realize uh, that India being a country of running costs rather than the initial investment. The prices of the PS3 games is sometimes much lower. Like we take all the bands together and make it into 2699 or a 2999, uh, which is much lower than the, the international sure. uh, prices or the international euro prices. Uh, we are discussing it, uh, but that has a longer period for us to decide uh, sure. before we make our are there any Indian studios uh, developing for PS4? I know a couple of them have dev kits, but anyone still already uh, working on games? No, the, but, 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 see, like I come to know of it only if it is an India-centric uh, approach or an India-centric uh, development. Nothing like that as of now is happening. 
uh, whether they are working directly as an indie developer or with the WWS and all. I don't know. Will you be planning a, uh, a high profile launch for the PS4 yeah. events? Yes, and definitely. Still, like PS4 is something that uh, like is almost reinvents the console category and sure. uh, therefore like uh, it deserves such a launch event. So we definitely are looking at uh, the the press and the trade launch or the press launch and then our multi city two and all those things are very seriously so it's almost like a format that we are launching after quite some time. Okay. This is a question I don't I know what your answer is gonna be but I'm gonna ask anyways. Uh, will you have any offers where you people can trade in the PS3 and pay a difference and get the PS4? Uh, as of now, officially, nothing is on the anvil. But uh, if there are certain trade guys on their own, they come up with some compelling things and all, we are definitely ready to look at it. But officially, as a organization and all, we are not evaluating that. Okay, I'm going to move to PSN now. Uh, so again, I keep asking about PSN cards. People are even more anxious about it because there because now uh, PS Plus is required for multiplayer on the yeah. PS4. Uh, PSN card, we are in the same level. Uh, so PSN card is, is the answer is not changing over a period because of the grey area that we have got stuck in. Okay. But if anyone wants to take a risk and. Uh, do it like which absolves us. I heard Flipkart was was, uh, was willing we evaluate a certain things but uh, 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 almost like but how they will do it and all like ultimately I cannot give a Sony branded PSN card and say like I know nothing of it. Like, I have to take the complete ownership sure. of the business. I mean that ownership in this grey area is becoming a bit difficult. Also, other couple of issues because cards are not available. People are looking at debit cards. The only couple of bank debit cards are working right now. On PSN. No, debit card is an international thing. Like I cannot, uh, I don't think anyone will be working on specifically the Indian debit cards and right. get it done. Right. But at the same time, like we are seeing, like uh, in certain, uh, like whether it is game for you and even uh, with Google Play coming in, iTunes uh, coming in. All these points and all those things have worked. I mean, there seems yeah. to be good uh, traction yeah, like from the on, consumers. On all these uh, services, I mean, any debit card works, but on PSN, just yeah. a couple of banks. I think ICICI and East AFC work. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah. So, is there a way that you can push for at least more cards to be accepted or something? We have actually not looked at it, to, to frankly, man. Uh, right. But uh, now that you have raised it, like I can raise the issue, like whether because people don't credit cards, but they have debit cards. It can be so broadened. Then, yeah. Another issue is PayPal. I mean, a lot of countries have an option to add uh, funds to your wallet using PayPal, but India doesn't. Those are like the local level. I mean, so whether the local eBay wants to offer the PayPal sure. services. Sure. To I mean, PayPal services are available to are consumers, available to but consumers. Uh, it's just uh, not tied into PSN just yet. I can put those, hence I can combine these two things and sure. uh, check it out. Okay. Given that eBay has a local base. Yeah. Are you planning to launch any uh, content services which is, which are available elsewhere, like music, that and, is music and uh, video music. and stuff like that? Uh, see, like uh, music, video, PS Mobile, uh, they keep evaluating country after country and uh, like what are the best dates to roll out and all. So, India is always evaluated, but as of now, if you ask me for any of these services, do I have a date? No. Uh, coming to support and uh, post uh, after sales, uh, is there a possibility that you can maybe offer an extended warranty where they can pay for one year extra of warranty? See, like, uh, given the way we do service in this market, uh, whatever percentage of fault that I take, creating a compelling or a economically viable model for a consumer is going to be difficult because you are talking of 50% of the price to be built into a model when I am selling uh, extended warrant because you are not talking of certain uh, repairs costing thousand rupees certain repairs costing ten thousand rupees certain repairs costing five thousand rupees you are coming into a repair level where whatever be the repair is fifty percent of the MRP 
So even if I say like uh, this is my percentage of fault that I have seen, at 50% 50, uh, 50 of the MRP level if I spread it across so many people, uh, it, it doesn't become a very compelling reason to go for an extended warranty rather than like means whatever testing and uh, consumer testing or a feedback that we saw, everyone wanted to keep it like, okay, I'll take the chance. Okay. Because at least I am getting a new PS3 at a 50% of the price. Okay. So what you're saying is that even if you offer it, the, the cost will be almost cost as much as... Cost will be almost, yeah, I mean, so cost per head will remain as much. Okay. Alright. So you don't actually gain too much. Even if I give a year of extended warranty and spread it across. Okay. Is there any amount of, is there any level of servicing being done for the PS3 now so here or it's just, just, re just replacements? It's being replaced. Okay. Because the one issue with that with the PS3 and it will be even, even more problem on the PS4 is that when someone gives the console for replacement, uh, they lose their data. So is there any way no, that this data can be... Uh, something like that happens on uh, like our uh, computation and all. Like if data gets corrupted and all, uh, there is no... Not only corrupted, but supposing the disk drive stops working, but the hard drive still has all the data yeah. on it. Game saves, fully downloaded PS and games, I all of that. I doubt we will have a solution to that. It's okay. a bit too complicated for us to manage so, that. So even, even going forward, is this going to be replacement policies? That As of be? now, yes. Okay. As of now. Uh, there have been issues like in the past when you started, first started uh, making PS3 games locally. Uh, there was an issue with some games that the disc wouldn't work. Uh, how, how has the PS3 been going with the On the discs? PS3 as of now, like uh, we have not heard uh, mm, issues as such. Uh, and the second part of it is a, a huge number also goes in bundling, which we started earlier. So like uh, we had... Uh, in case of a bundling, you have a, a period before you come to know. Uh, we did our TLOU also, like as of now, like we have not heard anything that is beyond the normal limits of actual things. So currently what is being uh, manufactured? Any new games that are being... Uh, TLOU was okay. manufactured. Say like uh, of the big titles, The Last of Us was the first one that uh, was local manufacturing. Okay. Uh, Otherwise, uh, on uh, April, May, there were quite a few essentials that got uh, done from here. The bundle softwares are all from here. Okay. Uh, idea is to, other than the small volume ones, bring in 90-95% of the total okay. disk manufacturing into okay. India for India. A what any is progress on third, third, third parties? Third parties as of now. As of now, no. Again, see like uh, this sudden changes of the, because now we are stable in terms of like, the manufacturing process, uh, we will start, we have started the third party business model, discussing those uh, third party business models. Uh, but again, with the exchange rate, like we have to just hold it till we have a clearer view of the business. What about the plans for the PS3 once the PS4 comes out, uh, are you planning to, you know, Position it differently or trying to price it differently? Pricing as of now, like, there is nothing to declare. Uh, in terms of the positioning, see, like, uh, PS3 already has broadened itself into a family unit, thanks to Move and all. Like, Move, uh, I think, is one of the most successful uh, percentages of the total sell that we have seen easily in. in in India. Okay. So attach rate for the, the Yeah, uh, attach rate uh, is a pretty high people which means like it has gone into the family audience. Uh, PS3 also has those advantages which are being helpful now at this stage of its uh, life cycle that it is a total entertainment device. Uh, it actually makes the TV smarter than like it actually is. All the smart TV features are actually can be obtained through the PlayStation. All those things mix it into the family audience. Uh, as a price point, it is almost 50% uh, if I look at a 12 GB, at around 60% if I look at a uh, your, uh, 500 GB. Uh, so as of now, like there is no declaration that we have in mind for PS3. But in terms of the positioning and all, PS3 is definitely going to be a 
wider audience, which is the family gaming and all those things, will remain important. Uh, on the PS4 is targeting perhaps the real spokesman of uh, the Indian gaming, the gamers. But in terms of the focus, the home console is going to be led by PS3. PS4 is going to be bringing in the sheen to that. Uh, in terms of the handheld, the PSP is still holding uh, good numbers and reinvigoration of the PS Vita for the India market is definitely on the end.